patient walks through my door with new worsening symptom, my primary thing is to think of what are, could be the contributing etiologies to this change in symptom burden. It's one thing to have fatigue that maybe impacts how you feel in the afternoon. It's another thing to have fatigue so severe that you can't get out of bed. So when there is a change in symptom, I need to know about it. One of the things I think about is whether or not in polycythemia vera, is there a change in blood counts that could be related to this symptom change? Another thing is whether or not this could be related to a change in therapy. Specifically, phlebotomy over time can lead to iron deficiency, and patients can actually be symptomatic of that iron deficiency. It can manifest with fatigue, restless leg syndrome, problems with concentration or cognitive issues. Hydroxyurea is another drug that can lead to severe symptoms or problems and symptoms. So gastrointestinal upset, nausea, diarrhea, can have cutaneous symptoms that are worrisome. It's very important too to monitor for disease progression and symptoms can help clue us into that. In general, it's important to know the resistance or intolerance guidelines for polycythemia vera as these change in symptoms might actually lead to a change in therapy or a change in management. Patients with polycythemia vera can experience a continuum of symptoms that impact how they live with their disease. There can be constitutional symptoms like fevers, chills, night sweats, weight loss. There can be symptoms related to blood clots, things like shortness of breath, chest pain. There can be symptoms related to the abdomen, especially related to a large spleen, like abdominal pain or discomfort or feeling full easily. In general, when we look at symptoms, it's important to see that some symptoms will give us a whole picture of the patient, like fatigue, whereas other symptoms might be more specific such as night sweats. It's important to know too that although one or two symptoms may not seem bothersome, in taking an aggregate, these can severely compromise patients' quality of life and ability to function.